Hello, everybody. Welcome back to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. My name is Michael, and I am, am your instructor for today. And today I'm going to show you how to write a professional email. Uh, the reason why it's important to write a professional email is because uh, all emails are spoken in, in a, a professional way, right? And this is very important for people who are, uh, you know, international students or even uh, business English students, right? If you're trying to uh, learn English for uh, in the business field, then this is very important for you to uh, understand this. Uh, so one of the main things is that people have a hard time making emails, right? But as emails are very easy. We just have to break them down into different parts. So we have parts of the email. We have a subject line. And the subject line is like the title of your email and, your, and what it's for, it's a set expectation what the email is about, right? So for example, you don't want your subject line to say hi, right? Because that's not professional, right? Say for example, let's say that you're a student, an international student, and you want to ask your teacher to extend the deadline for your essay, right? So, your title or your subject line would be extension uh, for my essay, please, right? That's fine. That's completely fine because you're, you're setting expectation of what your email is going to be about. And then you have the opener. Openers are very simple. You just usually the openers uh, are you saying hello to the person that you're talking to, either your professor or a colleague or a business or uh, uh, anybody that you're trying to get in contact with in a professional level, right? So you say, hi, Mr. Michael, right? Hi, uh, Mr. Blanco. Hi, Mr. Moon, right? You usually use their last name or you can use their full name as well. As well. So you can say, hi, Mr. Moon, uh, uh, Michael Moon, right? Uh, hi, Mr. Uh, or Mrs. Jennifer Blanco, right? So you can use the full name or the last name. You typically don't want to use the first name uh, by itself because that is considered unprofessional, right? So you're adding a quick greeting or acknowledgement to acknowledge the reader before diving into your main message. Hello, uh, Mr. Moan. And then next we go to your body. Your body is your what you're really talking about in your email, right? So uh, if you are... Like we said before, with your title, you're asking for an extension, right? You're asking for an extension. So the point of your email would probably focus on saying, hello, uh, teacher, uh, Mr. Moan, Professor Moan. I'm emailing you because I need an extension for my paper, yada, 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 right? So your body is mostly focusing on the main idea of your message of what you're asking for. Another thing is a closing. A closing is very similar to the opener. You're just saying goodbye to the person and also signing off your name, right? Or also as well, leaving a quick message, right? So closing, like the opener, this is a quick message where you sign off on your email. Okay, remember that emails are about professional communication and should be polite and to the point, right? So it's professional. You have to be polite. You cannot be rude during your emails. You have to, even if somebody is speaking to you rudely, you have to be polite. You, and you can speak in a stern way that is polite, right? In a very, like, uh, um, kind of a way that has boundaries, right? You can speak in a very uh, stern way to people, but as long as it's polite, you're fine. Just always be polite, even if somebody is rude to you back. Right. And always approach somebody with a polite email. Even if you have a complaint, it's always good to write in a polite way. Say hello, uh, um, whoever who may it may concern. I have an issue with this laptop. This laptop is not working anymore. I'd like to have this solved, please. Please contact me. Blank, 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 blank. Uh, hope to hear from you soon. I'm Michael Moon. Boom. All right. So another point is get to the point. You don't want to keep talking and talking and talking. Okay, so here's an example. For my last name. So here's an example. We have the subject line as I need an extension on an essay. 
And then here's our opener. Hello, Professor Moon. And then here's our body. I am requesting a, a paper. I'm, I'm writing a, to request a paper extension for my upcoming essay. I have been working hard on the essay and I'm confident I can produce a high quality piece of work, right? This is saying that I need help. I need an extension because I need more time. However, I, I would like more time to ensure the essay is perfect. I would appreciate if you could grant me a paper extension for two weeks. I understand this may disturb your plans and I apologize for any inconvenience, right? So you're asking for the extension. You're apologizing that if it, if it might disturb any inconvenience for the person that you're sending it to, right? And then you're hoping, from, you're hoping for some type of reply back, right? Essentially, you're requesting for an extension for your essay, right? And then you sign off, right? Or you close off with best regards, Michael Corrobius, or your name here. This would be your name. <clears throat> and this is how it would look like in a real life example if I was trying to message myself. Hello, I need an extension, right? We, still, we follow more, roughly the same structure, right? So with that, it's pretty easy to uh, make an essay, right? We just follow these four steps, subject line, opener, body, and closing, right? So if you really like this video, uh, please actually email me. And I would love to see you guys' emails, right? You guys can email me at easytutor at, at easytutor818 at gmail.com. I would love to hear you guys email me just for practice, right? And I can give you guys some feedback. But if you're also requesting for tutoring services, you can also email me here as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But remember to please to like and subscribe to the channel. It will really help this channel grow. And yeah, I hope to hear from you guys soon, and I'll be making more content in the future. Thank you.